On paper, you guys would see that it, I'm not who you would think would have suicidal thoughts or attempts. On paper, you see a veteran that's excelled in post-military, two bachelor's degrees, and finishing up my second master's degree, an EMBA from the University of Utah here in Salt Lake City. I've been working as a CFO and COO during the pandemic crisis here in Salt Lake. I've been able to travel the world and I was able to meet my wife in South Africa. And I even got married to her in South Africa as well. But what people don't see is that I have two deployments under my belt to Iraq. During my second deployment in seven months, I treated 1,200 trauma patients and was a part of over 450 operating cases. As an anesthesia tech on that deployment, I had service members die on my operating table from injuries in combat. Coming home, I had survivor's guilt. I was trying to figure out why do I deserve to live when these service members died fighting for their country. I struggled. And on May 4, 2006, just two months after returning home from my second deployment, I wanted to commit suicide because I was undeserving of life. I got help and was medically discharged in October of 2006 from active duty. While the day-to-day -day life of, of, while the day-to-day -day military life was over, the suicidal thoughts remained. And in 2012, I was selected by President Bush to go riding with him on his annual Warrior 100K. Sounds like a great honor, but what people didn't see is that a week prior to that, I had a gun in my hand ready to commit suicide. I moved to Utah a little over two years ago and in 2018, in 2018 after I completed my first master's degree, I had to go up to the Salt Lake City VA and check myself in because I wanted to kill myself. I didn't understand why I deserved to live. The VA and other nonprofits are providing are providing veterans with resources and support. But in order for us to have an effective treatment plan for mental health, we have to know what risk factors are associated with this. When I was discharged from the Salt Lake City VA, I never knew that high altitude was going to be an issue. And so that is why I thank you, Representative McAdams, for seeing this need and identifying the risk factors that are associated with suicide. This is a serious bipartisan issues that will impact our, our communities. While deployed, I saw service members die on my operating table from injuries in combat. And since returning from my second deployment, I have lost more friends and service members due to suicide than I ever did in those two deployments combined. We are more at risk of dying here from suicide than I would have been deployed. So once again, thank you, Representative McAdams, for, for giving the VA an opportunity to research this further and to be able to help our veterans. Let's get this bill passed, which could have saved my teammates and friends who've committed suicide and also be able to help me myself. Thank you, Representative McAdams.